730, 92.1, WROI, WROI, FM.com. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5 and streaming audio and video live, RTC Channel 4. Hello, Scott. Good morning, sir. Hey, Scott's back in the studio today and has his own coffee cup. He's ready to go. Well, he's got those head thing in the ear. Yeah, he's got his earbuds back in, right. Right. Got, had to get new ones. Yeah, he's got new ones. See, they're black this week. They were white last week. So well, they're, they're yeah. red, but that's okay. Oh, red, okay. Red, red this week, and they were white now, last wait week. Wait a minute. You said they're black, and they're they're red. They're red. Yeah. yeah, they're red. Well, I just took a quick look. I didn't pay any attention okay. to it. Good morning, Dick Belcher. Nice to have you here for the first federal program. How nice is oh, it? Oh, huh? you can't. You just can't imagine. <laughs> you just can't imagine. We're gonna get a little rain today, maybe. Fifty-fifty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, now, uh, see, Dina puts this on here. Lead story. Yes. Biggest story of the week. City Council considering <laughs> allowing Rochester residents <laughs> to have hens. Not chickens, hens. Hens. Hens huh? only. Ah. Yeah, those roosters, they, crawl, they crow at three yeah, in the morning. Yeah, no, nobody likes that, especially mm, if they're your next door neighbor, a, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good not idea. Good. That's not good. Nope. <laughs> our, our guests, our guests like that, like that yeah, story. Yeah. They do, yeah, they do. Well, you know, the city council they got a lot of things, important things to do. Well, that's right. Make a ruling that's on, right. On that's right. <clears throat> well, some some cities, and I know one in particular out in Seattle, it's a big deal. You have chicken coops, wow. and they uh, they spend hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars on these, and then wow. they have a tour, and uh, they. A, you can buy a chicken coop tour ticket. I am so impressed. Creighton Brothers are about yeah. to roll that out. Yeah. Creighton yeah, Brothers yeah. wouldn't like it. No, they would. They would, you know, yeah. charge people to come in and see their chickens. Sure. No, they won't let you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, thirty-nine days. Yes, and counting to the election. Right. Can you wait? Oh, well, you have to. <laughs> we had the big debate. What did you think? Well, I think, uh, I, uh, I don't know what to think. I'm going to wait for the next two, really, okay. before I draw any before I draw any conclusions. Yeah. And then, of course, in this mix somewhere, there's a vice presidential debate, too. Yeah, that's Tuesday. Okay. Pence and Kane. Yes. Yeah. He's in Fort Wayne today, by the way. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Well, then he'll spend Sunday afternoon preparing. Right, right. Well, the Colts play Sunday morning, so he'll yeah. have Sunday afternoon yeah. then to yeah. get ready. Right. Yeah, you bring up the Colts. We'll talk a little more about that later. <laughs> okay, I got a little trivia here for you. I'm ready. How many people can one American farmer feed? Is it 95, 155, or 205? Okay. Okay, high school. We got the big game to yeah, we do. tonight. Bell game. Z's at right. Valley. Right. Z's are 0 and 6. Valley. Yeah, they're, they're struggling through the season. They're getting yeah. better each week, but they're still struggling. Valley's 1 and 5. Right. Casting. Uh, two and four at Culver, Wabash seven four and two at uh, at North Miami. That'd be a big game tonight too. North Miami six and zero. Oh. Yeah, they're undefeated. They're uh, top, right? I uh, think tenth in the state. Uh, and West Central is uh, at uh, Winnemac. What West Central's zero and six. Okay. And Winnemac's two and four. All right. Okay, college football. Notre Dame, noon at Syracuse. Notre Dame, noon at Syracuse. With a new defensive coordinator. Yeah, right. You know, they fired that that guy. Yeah, after they said they wouldn't, but they turned around and yeah. did anyway. Well, no, he's, he's a nice guy. Well, We're Kelly not. says he's going to take more interest in the defense now. Well, you know that the <laughs> defensive guy that they fired, his son's on the team. I uh, did not know that. Yeah, he's a, he's a wow. reserve quarterback. Okay. Okay. What happened, Dad, tonight at the uh, today at the <laughs> office? Oh, I got fired. <laughs> Other than that, it was a good day. We have we're pleased to have uh, Erica Heidi and uh, Chelsea Jameson here today. They're going to talk about the bicentennial. You're going to have a big event uh, when next week. Yep, it is going to be October fifth, which is next Wednesday. Um, it is our birthday year. We are turning two hundred. Wow. Um, the event's going to start at 9.30 at the courthouse. Um, we are going to have 
Mayor Ted Denton say a few words? We will have. The well, wait a minute. How do you know it's a few words? Well, we're the, we're Mayor hoping. Ted Denton we never a says a few for words. Him. <laughs> you give him some limitations. He's no longer than two minutes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So he he's aware of his limitations. Um, the the Manitas are going to be singing the state song. Do you know what the state song is, Dick? Yeah, back home again in Indiana. It's not. <laughs> it is on the banks of the Wabash. Oh, that's right. On the banks of the Wabash. But don't worry, the Rochester Band is going to play back home again in Indiana. Oh, so I'm relieved. We've got it covered. Um, Kroger's was kind enough to make us a few hundred donuts, and Dreddy's will be serving coffee. This will all be at the courthouse. Um, after the band, the choir, and Ted's few words, um, they will light the torch. Now, Purdue might not be able to play football, but they were able to build a really great torch for us this year. Purdue built the torch? They built the torch. Wow. Um, I knew. So <laughs> impressive. Do it. So impressive. So a, um, a group from Purdue is along on this caravan so that they can maintain the fire and keep it going and light the torch for us. And then, maintain the fire and the torch? Yeah. They got to keep it going. Sure. You can't just start fresh every day. No, you can't. Got to keep going. Exactly. Uh, how do you fuel that thing? That's a great question. Very uh, <laughs> coming from Purdue, it better be a biofuel. <laughs> um, there will be a few different torches um, throughout, I think they last what, an hour and a half, 30, 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Um, so there will be a couple because we've got 14 torch bearers for this whole event. Um, everybody's local. You should probably recognize some of their names. Okay, Ch Chelsea, who who are the torch bearers? Ooh. Doug Morton and Joan McClellan and her family are going to be torch bearers. Rex Robison, David Somers, Adriana Day, who's a senior at Caston, Charlie Schwank, Jana Vance, Shelley Newell, David Migrant, Wendy Zent is going to be a torch bearer in honor of Tom Wilson, her father, um, Jason Snyder, Shirley Willard, and Terry Lee. And ending the relay will be Lee and Isinger. Okay, now we've been building up to this for months. So you're going to have this thing at, at the courthouse starting at 9 30 Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. And free coffee and donuts. Yep. And Times Theater will be there with popcorn too. <clears throat> oh, excellent. <clears throat> and and the relay is actually from 10 to 11 30. Okay. That'll okay. be going through town. Yes. And if you're at the courthouse, you'll be able to participate in the opening ceremonies, um, and you'll be able to catch the first few legs of the race. So I think Doug Morton, Joan, Rex, you should be able to see those yeah. three at least. So, and then it kind of goes. We start. We start. Go down Eighth uh, Street to Main, or to Ninth, right? Yeah. That up and to then Main. Ninth to Main. Yeah. Okay. And um, there is a group of Ball State students along with this caravan documenting the whole thing. Um, they've done a really great job of putting each county up on their Facebook page. It's just the Indiana Bicentennial Torch Relay, I think. Um, some really cool pictures cool. on there. Good. They're, the state's also going to have, it's called the Bicentennial Experience, and it's a mobile um, museum that's going to be at the town here, too. Cool. Front. Okay, now what about Loyal? He will be there. Good. Okay. All right. He's been a big hit. We've talked to his people, and he will be there. <laughs> okay. Loyal the bison. <laughs> okay, what else you want to tell us about that? Um, well, the whole relay, it started September 9th, and it goes to October 15th. It's traveling six days a week for five weeks. It's one state, 92 counties, 72 miles a day five weeks and 2300 miles so this is six weeks five five weeks yeah and we're going to keep that torch burning for five weeks yep. thanks to purdue yeah Excellent. <laughs> the way you put that fuel in there is very careful <laughs> <laughs> if you got a burning torch here and you're going to put fuel in it sure if you need to i want to see that i'm going to come down and waste so. <laughs> Chelsea Jamison, thank you for coming, and Erica Heidi, thank you for coming. And but most of all, thank you for taking on this responsibility, right, exactly. putting the thing together. And, and uh, Tom will take care of the weather. That's right. Up. It'll be That's right. sunny and sunny and warm. Sunny and seventy. You they, bet. They right. ask that. <laughs> okay, Wednesday, nine thirty, courthouse. Be there. Come. Yes. And play Be there. on the banks of the Wabash and. Uh, 
uh, if you had a sycamore tree, you know, sycamore is an uh, Indiana tree. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have a sycamore tree on the, here. Uh, no, I don't we think should, we do. We should yeah. do that. Some peonies, aren't they the state flower? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There you go. They're out of season. Okay. <laughs> now we, you, we've confused the whole thing. Now. By the yeah, we've, we've, we've ruined the whole thing now <laughs> with our suggestions. That's why we planned it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have ruined everything. Well, not really. You got a no, mouse in your no, pocket. They, they or have it well under control. Yeah. These guys yeah. are good. That's right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Rochester Optimus Club Pumpkin Stand on East 9th Street's open 11 to 6 weekdays, 10 to 5 Saturday, and 11 to 5 on Sunday. You get any fall decor down there that you want. That's right. They really have a nice stand. Yeah, it's a great, uh, they got a great display. Friends of the Fulton County Parks and Recreation Department hosts the Fish Fry 4.30 to 7 Saturday at the Lions Come Building. That's 102 Monticello Road. Uh, that uh, helps uh, support the, a lot of their things that are going on. You can get tickets at Frontfeld or Dental Clinic, Clinic, First Federal Savings Bank, or Webb's Family Pharmacy. Niona South Mud Lake Boosters are having a chicken and noodle dinner 5 to 7 tomorrow at the clubhouse in, at Niona Lake. Fulton County Annual Center will host Animal Center, mm -hmm. not Annual. Animal, animal Center right. will host a Porta Pit Chicken Fundraiser October the 8th. That's the same day as the chili. It is. And they're going to set that up in the first federal parking okay. lot. They so. do a lot of good work out there. They really do. Yeah. Next Saturday, October the 8th, is also the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce Chili Cook-Off, the Black Top Cruisers Red Hot Show, and United Way's Red Hot Run. Oh, I tell you, big day. Right here in front of That's uh, right. 8th Street. Downtown Rochester, big day. Yeah. We, uh, some other things is uh, during National Fire Prevention Month, the Rochester Fire Department is taking action to ensure more homes have working smoke uh, detectors. The department hosts its annual, third annual, fire prevention ride Sunday to raise money for its smoke detectors and battery fund. Rochester Fire Chief Tom Butler said all proceeds will be used to purchase items which will be available at the station for those who need it. So, Excellent. Yeah, we, you need to remember to check your smoke detectors right. uh, and you know, the old rule of thumb is do it on your birthday. Or, or when the time changes. Time changes, yeah. yeah. I do it on my birthday. Yeah, that's a good time to do it, yeah. sure. Sure. Because at my age, you know, I can touch a few batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you guys laughing? We are not laughing. We are, we are sharing in joy. Where did you guys come from? <laughs> you know what? We just wanted to come hang out with you. Mm -hmm. We were doing something fun. We had a party <laughs> stop. We <laughs> be a party crasher for a second. Uh -huh. We're losing control, Tom. I <laughs> we, <laughs> years ago, those years ago, I think we lost control. Those dang yeah. Okay, today out at the fairgrounds is the tenth annual Fulton County College and Career Fair today, and they'll bring in uh, students from Rochester and Caston and Tippy Valley. Excellent. That's and a that's a good thing. First mm -hmm. Federal have a booth out there. I'm sure RTC and the chamber. You got something? No, going? I have to cover the office. Fedco's going to be out there, so somebody's got to come at the office today, unfortunately. Not, but fortunate for the students. Okay. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> also, we talked about the Friends of the Fulton County Park are having the fish fry uh, Saturday, and then this Tuesday uh, they, they get 10% of the proceeds from Dairy Queen. Excellent. Dairy Queen, see? They get lots of things going on down there, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay. Let's moving right along here, and let's see what we can come up with. Uh, oh, flu season is coming. Yes, it is. Get your flu shot. Yes, indeed. You cannot get the nasal this year. Yeah, they say that uh, you really need the shot this year. Yeah. they. Uh, some things went wrong last year yeah. with the nasal thing. Not good enough protection. I didn't want. I didn't want that anyway. Didn't want, okay. yeah. I'll take the needle versus sniffing anytime. <laughs> okay, Tricap annual chair fair, which we've had them on right. here, and we talked about that. They raised over forty-three hundred dollars 
for scholarships. Congratulations to them. Yeah, that's right. That was a nice event. Okay, some millstones. Uh, Wade and Barbara Mikesell will celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary with an open house from 3 to 7 Saturday at the Talmud Community Building. Barb and Bud Tullis cele celebrates their 50th anniversary Saturday, October the 8th, with an open house at the Rochester Lions Club. We also lost two really great athletes this week in uh, Hernandez, Jose right. Hernandez, and Arnold Palmer. Yeah, mm -hmm. great guy. He was something else. Great guy. Developed the drink. <laughs> That's right. That's that, that, right. That took some. Magic. He was not only a, a tremendous golfer and a tremendous person, but he was a great businessman too. Yeah. Yeah, he owned some clubs. And yes, he did. Yeah, companies, sure. Probably had a set of golf clubs out there too. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, some flowers. Flowers to Jim Fritz for donating to the new yeah, state of the art nice. clinic at the IU School of Dentistry. Congratulations to him. You bet. They're going to put his name up on there. Yeah, that's good. I hope they spell Fritz right. I think they will. You think so? Yeah, I think so. No, no, I think so. F R I T Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty unique. <laughs> That, that won't work. Two T's. Two T's. Two T's. There's no Z. Two T's and an S. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shepherd's Auto Dealership and Buick donated $10,000 to the Rochester High School Athletic Boosters Club. Yeah, that was quite a deal. And, yeah, congratulations. They had that drive on there right. at the beginning of the football season. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's Worked a nice, well. nice little promotion. Uh, flowers also to the sponsors and the the drivers of Promise Indiana. They they sponsored uh, a tour of Ivy Tech uh, in recent days, and they took 600 kids down there uh, and to uh, get a taste of college life and maybe plant some seeds. Excellent. Okay, uh, you know what your uh, apple was for? No. You, Scott. 70 something? I, was it 1980? 80 something? Yeah. Oh, it was 70s. Is it, you're right, are you 76. Talking? Good word. Oh, 76. Wow. Well, I, I didn't know whether you were talking about Apple, something. the computer company, or Johnny Appleseed who dropped the <laughs> seeds. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that was the <laughs> Okay, the Dow was down 195 yesterday, closed at 18,339. Interest rates are flat again this week, not much happening. And of course, the big news is uh, Wells Fargo. All right, still. Well, now they're talking about Deutsche Bank, though. Well, yeah, all those big banks are. You, you need to bank with a community bank. That's right. Like, like, That's like right. First Federal. See how I led into that? Wasn't that good? Perfect segue. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we we don't have any quotas there that you gotta you gotta you know there uh, Wells magic number was eight. That's right. They wanted every a week every. Well, they want every customer to have eight different accounts. Okay. Wow. That's quite a bit. <coughs> Too much to keep track of. What? Too much to keep track <laughs> Too of. Too much to keep track of. We That's need right. to keep life simple here. Well, they Unless they go to First Federal, then we can yeah. not make Okay. Okay. Uh, we're open today. We, being First Federal Savings Bank, right. the community bank. Right. Where we don't have any goals and objectives of selling products and cross-selling and arm twisting. The locally owned community. Locally owned. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And we're, our ATM is always open. And <clears throat> we have state-of-the-art ATM. Yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, we also have a checking account that pays you back when you use your first federal uh, debit card. It's called Go Green Checking. We pay you 20 cents each time. You use your debit card to make a, a purchase and we refund up to $25 a month of your to your account when your ATM fees from other banks around the country. So in essence, you can use it any place and it isn't gonna cost you anything. Credits appear on your monthly statement and you will see quickly how, mu how much 20 cents adds up. That's right. Mm -hmm. The requirements are they open the account with $150. You must uh, accept statements by email. And that's the way you want to get it anyway. Sure. Mm -hmm. Use at least one of the following services during the month to get the credits, to direct deposit, automatic payment, withdrawal, or pay a bill through online. All these are services that most everybody can use. <coughs> Good time to 
to keep looking at mortgage loans. We're seeing a lot of construction loans uh, really increase, and that's a sign that the, the economy is getting better. Good. And we like that. First Federal's FDIC insured and an equal housing lender, and our NMLS number is 3, 9 or 9 or 9 or 27. That's the one. That's it. Okay, now we get get to the highlight. We had the warm up back there. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to listen. I couldn't hear yeah. it. It sounded like it was quite mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. We have Amy Rowe and Sarah Reese. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you for having us. What are you doing here? Just watching you. This is like entertainment. We, you know, we're bored on a Saturday or a Friday morning, so we thought we'd come oh, and hang out. Good, yeah. good, good. All right. Yeah. You probably want me to buy your breakfast. Yes, that's course. It's Friday morning. We'll we turn it out. I came up early, so. Okay, I'm now you guys are going to make the downtown more beautiful than it is. We are going to do more than just make the downtown beautiful. We are going to uh, work on filling those stores and creating a tourist destination and revitalizing. Excellent. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Well, you know, it was really neat. We've had a really two very heavy weeks and excited uh, related to moving things forward. Sarah, it, it, there's some confusion. There was an article in the Shopper's Guide and uh, the article had stated that Sarah would take over um, as the executive director in January. So I have received so many calls that I'm quitting the chamber, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I'm thinking, is there a plot? I, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I am, but something. maybe I yeah, did I miss something. You got, uh, a, you got a lot of calls? I did, I did. Besides your mother? Yeah, besides, <laughs> unless maybe she disguised her voice that many times yeah. and called okay. and then sent the family. Right. But, um, you know, since that transition, that was last month that the board decided to um, bring Sarah on as the volunteer executive director and then excuse myself to be able to do uh, chamber and tourism. We've had some really neat uh, meetings. One was a strategic planning session with uh, Terry and his team, the Rochester Redevelopment Commission, and we looked at what their slate of activities were for 2017 and then were able to create our slate of activities. We brought Mason Heidi on the team and we're very excited about that. He shared what his plan is yesterday related to the economic vitality, which is the one committee that we desire to move forward with. And that's business attraction and expansion and retention downtown. So he met with on the phone somebody from the uh, chamber in Goshen that okay. I connected with him with. So we can do more than just beautify. That is part of it. Yeah. Obviously you have to have a nice palette people want to see beauty but you also if you're bringing them to something beautiful and they're just staring at the walls then what's the point it won't keep them correct so we have to have Mason work very diligently to see what we can do to take a property inventory and a business inventory and see if we can move the needle on that okay Sarah we'll let her <laughs> do I sound like I'm propagating messages yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just keep repeating the same thing but she's going to have to start doing sure. this in the future, so. okay so you're going to head up downtown mm -hmm. okay yes. all right speak right in the mic sure. so they can see you and that uh, and what's what's the uh, what's the game plan well, um, we received our 501c3 status for the downtown partnership, which was a huge step um, that opens us up to be able to receive some grants through the Office of Community and Rural Affairs, which is a state department. So there's some good funds available there. As we all know, everything takes money. Um, so we are looking at that meeting that Amy spoke of with the Redevelopment Commission we were really looking at what grants do we want to pursue we want to be very strategic in how we're moving forward and not just kind of throwing things and hoping they stick uh, so we're looking at the plans that the redevelopment commission has and the things that we want to accomplish downtown and have identified a couple of grants that we want to shoot for for 2017 that would allow us to do some cosmetic upgrades downtown okay what what example uh, so we're looking at a PA, a new PA system. The as you that's mentioned, been needed the, for a long time. Yeah, it's uh, as Scott Zion from RTC right. says, it's kind of like the lake cottage that kept getting added onto, and it's time <laughs> to just tear it down and start over. So no offense, no offense but it, it's just time. So we are planning on um, pursuing that that process and ensuring that we have a PA system that can handle the car show and also be a resource for us for you know when there's inclement weather coming we can broadcast that through all of the PA system through WROI or, sure. or whatever and, and get that message out further if need be uh, that allows us to do some announcements and that kind of thing okay. so it'll be a great system we're looking What's at new lighting 
lighting downtown yeah. benches led bike racks yeah it'll okay. we'll get rid of the the old giant cobra lights that are yeah. very industrial looking and not very welcoming well, welcoming that, yeah, the feel LEDs to them are so much more economic yes right exactly. much more efficient mm -hmm. yeah. so and then just the the cosmetic pieces that are just nice little pieces things like bike racks and benches and those types of things that one of the cool things going on that could be a catalyst in this whole thing is the renovation of the times theater oh exactly and all the work mm -hmm. that those folks are doing i mean exactly. that could be kind of the hub right and then the rest mm -hmm. can can uh, right. stem out from there hopefully right yeah. and we've been we've been hugely fortunate to have a group of citizens who have taken on that theater project right. and made it their own and said we're charging forward with this and that's not something that we have to be heavily involved with from the downtown partnership perspective that that occupies a ton of our time so we can continue working on other projects while that's happening and, and it really has been a great group of people that's very dedicated and, and determined to move that forward so we're excited with all the progress sure. we're seeing there and they actually attended that meeting also Good. they came to right. understand yeah, what was there. happening the big picture of downtown revitalization what um, role they play and what resources they were mm -hmm. They're on a learning curve at the moment, but they are hungry to learn, and anything that we will tell them, they continue just to ask right. questions. And right. Well, I've noticed just recently that the old BMD store got a uh, facelift. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, it, it did. Looks yeah. beautiful. It looks nice. Those people uh, eat some uh, flowers and roses for that. Yes, and, they do. And we got some new awnings. Yes. yes, yes, we do have our facade grant program. Uh, we wrapped up our second round of that, that program uh, about a month ago and had a couple of additional awardees with that. Uh, Tidewater is going to be putting some awnings on their upper, upper level of Good. their storefront, so they're anxious to see that. And then yeah. Casa is working on a new sign, so that'll be exciting to see. And we are looking at, for 2017, having additional rounds of that granting option. Um, the Redevelopment Commission committed some more funds to that for 2017 so we'll be able to continue that program and are really looking forward to working with our businesses to kind of spruce things up a little bit and help them out with that financially good we're speaking this morning to Am amy rose who's uh, the head thread with the chamber of commerce <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sarah reese uh, that's heading up the uh, downtown beautification just a matter of information uh, we had a meeting yesterday about mm -hmm. the 9th and mm -hmm. And Main Street, uh, the contract has been a lot. It's been given to uh, finish filling that mm -hmm. uh, up and get, it, get the fence down and mm -hmm. look like uh, improve that. Yeah. yeah, excellent. And then I believe working towards making it something. Right. In 2017, <laughs> correct. Right. Making it something. Making it into something beautiful. Absolutely. In 2017, yeah. is that the magic year? Yeah. Good. Spring. 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 Good. Okay. That's what Terry was saying yesterday. So. Thank you, ladies, for stopping by. Thank you. Good work. Yeah, you're doing a good Thanks. job. Working yes. hard. Working hard. Now, next time you come in, get some enthusiasm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, get like fired up. We're like the walking dead. We just like really <laughs> right. Okay. Just encourage, right. the last thing, if I can throw in there, we sure. just encourage our business owners to be watching. We've got fall is kind of, and winter are kind of our heavy times for our events, and we have some opportunities for businesses to get involved with that. So just be keeping an eye out. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. We've got to get off the air. They're going to charge us. <laughs> 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 two no, breakfasts. Okay. Keep, keep going. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> 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 <All right>. <laughs> Trivia. <laughs> Trivia. How many uh, people can uh, one American farmer feed? 95, 155, or 205? I'm going with 205. I like that. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll be the odd man out and say 155. You're correct. Ah, oh, there you go. Facts. There you go. Because I'm a farmer's wife. You, <laughs> you get the win. I should be in trouble. I know, right? All right. Now, just a little sight. In 1960, how many did one farmer feed? I would think it's probably 90. Less. Less. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Correct. Okay, the answer is 25. Wow. wow. So we've gone from 25 to 155. That's pretty, all that technology. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. Okay, Arnold Palmer says the most rewarding things you can do in life are often the ones that look like they cannot be done. <laughs> very Amen. well said. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Amy, Sarah, thank it you for being so here. Scott, as always, a pleasure having you on the First Federal Program. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. A lot has changed since 1966, but your local banking partner, First Federal Savings Bank, hasn't. We've evolved. 
by combining today's technology with our timeless service to make banking more convenient and enjoyable. At First Federal, we believe in the best way forward is to continue treating customers like family. The dedicated service of our First Federal family members and the support of our wonderful communities keep us going. As I've said for 50 years, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best.